thank you for joining us and welcome to Art and Music After Hours at the Kimball. I'm Jennifer Kastler Price, curator for Asian, African, and Ancient American Art. Art and Music After Hours pairs works of art from the Kimball Art Museum permanent collection with music by composers originating from the same region or nearby country. Today's program features this urn in the form of Cosillo, God of Lightning and Rain, from the Zapotec culture based in Oaxaca, Mexico, and dating to circa 400 to 500 AD. Paired with the work of composers Manuel Ponce, 1882 to 1948, from Mexico, and Héctor Villalobos, 1887 to 1959, from Brazil, performed by classical guitarist Christopher McGuire. We hope you enjoy the program. So the Zapotec culture of ancient America was based in the Oaxaca Valley. This is a very mountainous region in the southern highlands of Mexico. Um, it's near the present day city of Oaxaca and their splendid capital and ceremonial site was Monte Alban, which was an artificially flattened mountaintop. And this is where they built their um, great temples. Now the Zapotecs believed that the clouds were primordial beings and that they were descended from the clouds. And so the Zapotecs thought of themselves as the cloud people. They also believed that their ancestors, when they died, they went to the clouds and they actually communed with the clouds and communed with other celestial beings and helped um, to bring rain to the people on earth. So as a consequence, obviously clouds figure very prominently in the art of the Zapotec and in the art that we find at Monte, Monte Alban. And uh, this fabulous urn uh, depicts one of their most prominent deities and that is Cosillo. And Cosillo is the god of lightning, rain, and thunder. And um, with this urn, we've found many of these urns at the site of Monte Alban. Uh, some of them are buried in the temple. Some of them are in caches nearby. Um, and this is made out of a, we can see it's made out of clay, um, kind of a hard paste clay. It's very sculptural. Um, it's comprised of a wonderful sort of mask here that's defining the face. And it combines elements of the jaguar, which is representative of the earth, and of a serpent, which is representative of the sky. Um, so what do we have going on here with Cosillo, the god of lightning and rain? First of all, we see that his eyes are covered with a um, stepped kind of two-part covering, eye covering. And the top part represents the heavens, and the bottom part represents the clouds. And by extension, heaven and cloud bring you the rain. And the rain is what is going to nourish the crops, the maize crops. Then we have a very kind of large bulbous protruding nose. It's kind of like the blunt snout of a jaguar. And the jaguar, if you think about the jaguar in the forest um, and the roar of the jaguar, it's like the roar of thunder. Then, protruding from the snout, we have three fangs, the jaguar's fangs. And then beneath that, we have a forked tongue. And this is the forked tongue of a serpent. And think about a snake's tongue when it kind of flicks out. It's like the flash of a bolt of lightning. So jaguar and snake, um, all relating to, to elements of rain. Then the rest of the sculpture, he's kind of outfitted uh, in a priestly garb. First of all, he has a wonderful broad collar here um, that's demarcated by a double knot. And then also these are probably indicative of feathers. And then this fabulous kilt that's kind of spilling down over the sculpture. Um, we have kind of a wave-like pattern. And then these three tassels but the tassels can also be read as kind of a visual pun. So think about like snakes and they're kind of running away from the hail. The hail is falling down on their heads. So the whole thing is evocative of like a tropical thunderstorm. Um, he's also got these very uh, large circular ear spools. Um, adorning his ears. And then the entire thing is topped off by this fantastic headdress. And if you look closely, you can see that it's like the, um, 
uh, corn rows, like corn fields that have been um, very carefully manicured, and so it's evocative of corn fields. Again, maize being the primary crop uh, for the Zapotecs and needing rain in order for those crops to thrive and to grow. And so again, this wonderful image of Cosillo, the god of uh, thunder and lightning and rain, uh, is a really splendid example of some of the best of the ceramic art uh, that we find in the Zapotec culture. Um, as I mentioned, this is actually an urn. Um, it's hollow on the inside. And so these urns would have been filled with water, with beads, with shells, um, with other kind of offering materials. And they would have been placed at the site at Malte Alban um, or in like um, cave uh, caches, uh, again, as offerings to the ancestors, as offerings to the deities to pray for rain, to um, nourish the crops. So I hope you really enjoy this sculpture and I hope that you'll enjoy the music that you hear today. It is now my pleasure to turn over the musical section of our program to Christopher McGuire. This piece is a really beautiful prelude by Manuel Ponce, a Mexican composer who wrote a lot of music for Andres Segovia. And this is just one of the examples of his beautiful miniatures.
This next piece is The Vals by Manuel Ponce, also written for Andres Segovia, but there's a, a really cute story that I learned from uh, one of Segovia's students who was also a student of Manuel Ponce. His name was uh, Jesus Silva, and he taught at the same university where Manuel Ponce taught. And he told me that this particular waltz was uh, written in a style that was kind of like a, a song that might have been used for this old legend from a, a small village in Mexico where a young man, when he wanted to marry uh, his, his senorita, would be invited to the home of the senorita to spend the day. And in the morning, he'd have to work very hard out in the fields, uh, maybe you know, pulling cows out of the mud, fixing sense, fences, and doing hard labor to show the father that he'd be able to take care of a farm or a ranch for his daughter. And then after lunch, the young man would uh, have to sit down with the father and go over the books and show the father how he might either make some more money or save some money, but just basically show the father that he had a, a good business sense. And then after working more during the day, uh, they would have dinner and the young man would have to show the family that not only was he strong and was he smart, but that he was cultured and that he had good manners and that he knew how not to embarrass the young senorita socially. Then after dinner, after some sherry or whatever, the young man had to play the guitar. And tradition has it that the young man would play a nice soothing waltz to make the parents sleepy so they'd go to bed and leave the young couple alone.
Thank you once again for joining us for Art and Music After Hours. We hope to see you soon.